Hi everyone, welcome back to the Capacities channel. Today I want to give you a few ideas for how you can use queries. Queries allow you to group content based on rules and to reuse these views that you create anywhere that you want. So I will show you some examples of that today. We'll start off with a tag query. Now tags are one of our users' favorite features of Capacities because they're really flexible. You can tag any object, as I have tagged a web link and a quote here with creativity, but you can also tag blocks. So here I could tag it with creativity, go back to my tag page and that is shown up there. Now these tag pages are a great way to dive deeper into your content. Think of them as entry points for deeper thinking because it's giving you a slightly different way of looking at your notes. Instead of looking at all web links or all quotes or all things created yesterday, we're looking at it from a different angle. And this is probably like topics or theme or even status, which is another common use for a tag. But we also have this feature at the top here called related tags. And this means that you might be looking at one of your pages and thinking, actually, if they are related, it would be quite useful to see how curiosity and learning fit in with creativity. So you might want to pull all of those different tagged items together into one view. And we can do that with a query. So I can see what those related tags are. I'm going to click create query and I'm going to just add curiosity and learning to this view. And from here, you now have this view to carry with you wherever you want it. So if I wanted to work on a question, I could create an object at the question that I'm working on and embed that query here and I can look at it in context. However, Capacities also has a really handy feature where any object can be opened in the side panel. So what I can actually do is remove that here, search for it because it's an object now and shift and click. And I now have that in the right sidebar and I can keep writing. Obviously, you would write much more than that when you were reviewing your tag, but this is a really simple way for you to group all of those tags together and just be able to reuse it anywhere. Now, this concept of creating a query and being able to use it wherever you want is also really helpful for reviews, which we will talk about next. So this is a weak object. And as you can see, it has a template called the Sunday review. If I open this, you can see that it has a query inside it called inspirational things found this week. Now, this query is set up like this. It's an object type query that is returning all objects of this type if it was created a week ago. Now, I'm filming this on a Tuesday and this is intended for a Sunday review. So obviously the timings are a little bit off, but you can actually, if you're in this position, just choose a specific date. So the review that I'm looking at, um, I'm looking for anything created in this week of those types. So I want the created at date of these objects to be on or after the 14th of April. And for it to be created on or before the Sunday of that week. Um, and I have it sorted by the oldest thing created first. I can click update and in that week I only had one milestone, but that doesn't matter. The point that I'm trying to show you here is that when it's in a template, it is so easy to get started with your review because that query is saved and it's waiting to be used essentially right here. If you want to make a query like this for yourself, my advice is that you create it for the first time just in an object like this. I'm going to click query and object types. And the question that you need to ask yourself, what do I want to review? Are you reviewing meetings? Are you re reviewing your people notes? Are you reviewing milestones? Whatever the answer is, you want to choose your objects from this list. And then you want to filter it by the date, obviously, as we just saw. So I created that, call it meetings and milestones, and that is now embedded into that weak object. Once you've got the query that you want, you can just copy it, go to the settings, use template, and either create a new one or edit an old one, paste it in, and then that will apply automatically. 
this is helpful if you want a specific review but as a general tip if you want to review everything that you've done in this week i think the easiest way instead of using a query is just to open the calendar in the sidebar by using shift and click and you can just review everything like this queries are super useful but it doesn't mean you have to try and fit absolutely everything into a query if you're wanting a big overview our calendar kind of does all that work for you so just open it in the right sidebar and review like this Okay, the next example is something similar to this, but for your colleagues. So I will open up um, this page for Julie. And what you can see here is an embedded query. Capacities is looking for all of my meetings and showing me the ones where the people involved includes Julie. This is just a text uh, property. And the type of meeting is a one-to-one. -one. And I want to sort it by newest first. Now, what this gives me is a list and just like other queries, you can choose how you want to review it. But because this is such a specific query, I can create a new meeting for Julie right away. And what it will do if I click new is it automatically fills in Julie's name and the one to one type. I can still load the template and I'll just add it here. Now, this doesn't work if you are connecting it to the calendar integration, so it's up to you which functionality you'd prefer. But I just wanted to show you that for some queries, if they're specific enough, you will get this new button, which allows you to create an object that fits the rules that you have set up, which you might find helpful in some use cases. It's really useful to put this query into the person page because what it's doing is it's collecting everything that you know or all the interactions that you have had in one place. It can save you time searching and finding things. It's just all here for you. Now, everything I've shown you so far is just one query, right? But we have the flexibility to embed as many queries as you like. I just want to show you this demo page that I created um, called 2025. And this has lots of items pulled together for things that are related to this year it's kind of like a north star for the year so you'll recognize the goal and the quote this is just linking to an object which we've done in many videos before but you do the same thing with queries so i have a query looking at open projects I'll show you what that looks like it's super simple give me all projects whose status is in progress and put them right here Equally, I have a milestone timeline, which is showing me all milestones sorted by what date they were achieved on. So I can see um, a list of milestones. So what this page is doing is exactly the same as what we just saw in the um, person object, is it's just pulling together what's useful for this context. So the context being 2025, what things can inspire me and keep me on track for the year. Now, if you want to know how to set up this exact page, I'll do a separate little video and I'll link to that now. But the concept here is the same. Queries allow you to group your objects based on rules. And once you've got those queries set up, it's an object like anything else. You can just move it around wherever it's useful to you. So if it's in a page like this or in a person object like this or a weekly review like this, the concept is the same. Just create that query and bring it with you wherever it's useful 